era solo un tapas, we make authentic tapas. Very unique tapas from north of Spain. We use fresh ingredients. We are very passionate about what we do. We, I, I personally put a lot of love in all my food and all my dishes that I create. I really like the kind of food that uh, we are presenting and we are uh, providing here at Saloon. Hi, my name is Carlos Hernandez, owner and chef of Saloon Bar and Tapas in Woodbridge. And today I'm gonna make for you a sea bass with spinach a la Catalan style and white wine sauce. Uh, we're gonna start preparing this dish. Gonna get some nice olive oil. Nice fresh sea bass. We're gonna sear the skin first. In this fry pan, we're gonna start doing the clams with the sauce. So this is about two minutes in each side, okay? This fish is very easy to cook. All right, so now we're gonna put this in the oven for about three, three to four minutes, okay? We're gonna wait for the clams to open. I'm gonna put a little white wine in there. Now we're gonna start doing the spinach, okay? Nice olive oil. I'm do a little bit of garlic. So we're gonna start sauteing the spinach with the garlic, raisins. Pistachios, roasted pistachios. A little salt and pepper. So now we're gonna we're going to put this dish together. Gonna put the spinach first. Spinach a la catalana. Now take the dish, the fish out of the oven. Okay, so now we're gonna get the fish. Fish is nice and moist. Make sure you don't dry your fish. Come right here. Okay. Now we're gonna take this delicious sauce and we're gonna put it right on the top. This is a fried yuca. This is just for decoration. You can use anything you want. Sea bass a la catalana with the green sauce. Piera Solum and good bridge. And now I'm gonna take you to the bar. We're gonna see the magic that the bartenders do here at Solum. Hello everyone and welcome to Saloon Bar and Tapas. My name is Neil Fuentes and I am one of the bartenders and also one of the managers here. And thank you, Carlos, for sending it back to us. Now I'm gonna show you how we make our espresso midnight martini. It's actually a very, very simple cocktail. All we have in here is a couple of elements that we will need, which is vanilla vodka, a little bit of Kahlua, a little bit of triple sec, and a little bit of 151. So it's going to be really a good cocktail. So to start this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put about two ounces of vanilla vodka in our pine glass full of ice right here. So we go one, two, three, and then a little more because we like the cocktail a little strong, you know how it is. And then we're gonna grab a little bit of the Kahlua. And we have this wonderful Midnight Kahlua, hence the name of the Midnight Martini. So we're gonna put the Kahlua right in here and about uh, two counts of it, it will be enough. Now, triple sec, a lot of people ask me, triple sec on a, on a coffee martini, absolutely. Did you know that when you add a little bit of orange flavor to coffee or chocolate, that helps bring up the flavors of the chocolate and the coffee? A little trick for you. So we're gonna do a little bit of triple sec right in here, just a touch, just that much. And then I have here espresso, freshly, freshly done. I'm gonna put it right in there. And then we're gonna give this martini a nice shake. 
and we want to shake this martini really well and you can actually kind of do a little dancing if you want so you're gonna go around and around and around and around and that's how you make it see now I'm gonna put my martini on the side and I'm gonna get the glass ready for it what do you mean the glass ready I'm gonna add a little bit of 151 right here in the glass and the glass is rimmed as you can see with a little bit of sugar so what I'm going to do is actually caramelize the sugar on the martini glass so let's do that so we're gonna light it on fire and now we have it on fire I think yes you can see the flames right there see and then what I'm doing is caramelizing the border of the glass see that and then we're gonna add a little flavor by adding a little cinnamon into that and then we're gonna serve the martini right in there, just like that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna to top it with a little bit of whipped cream that I whipped myself right in here, just like that. And then to finish the martini, I'm gonna add a little bit more of cinnamon right in the middle, just like this, and I'm gonna grab a little stirrer. I'm gonna stir it around, just like this. Then we're going to go across and we're going to make a nice heart. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Midnight Espresso Martini, only here at Saloon Bar and Tapas. See you soon. Now we guarantee if you come and stop over here and try our tapas, you're going to have a good memory when you leave. To hear today's dining offers or to speak to our reservation host and have a great dining experience.